Hello guys and welcome for another Game Maker tutorial. So in this tutorial we're going to create a health bar. So this health bar is particularly easy to make. So I just made mine with the sprites for about 10 minutes or less than that. So I'm just going to show you what it does. So yeah, let it load up. So if we collide with the red thing here, the health bar or this health will be diminished. So I'm just going to go ahead and touch the red. So there, as you can see, our health just got, how do you call this, uh, sucked away by the red thing. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm going to show you now how I did that. So let me just clear my workspace. So now that I cleared up my workspace, what I have here is the sprite for the enemy, the sprite for the player, and also the object for the player with the variables, the HP, the max HP, and the horizontal speed and x-axis for the movement right here so it's a simple movement script for the player i got right here so let's go and create the sprites for the health bar so this health bar let's just name it health bar and edit sprite so let's create the sprite with the width of 64 and the height of 8 yeah, so let's just do it like that and then let's fill this with the red because it's a health bar and then make an outline or no yeah let's not make an outline then so just like that and then that's your health bar and then we're going to create another sprite for the sprite health overlay so this sprite will be your current sprite. Our current sprite, no, I my mistake. So it's your current health. So let's change the color for this. So um, this becomes what's on top of your health bar. So what it is going to indicate how much health you have. So essentially this is just the background and then this is what's on top. Okay. So now let's create an object for the enemy and then let's uh let's just add a collision event for the player and then drop in a code action. So we want that every time the player touches the enemy, we're going to damage the player. So we're, what we're going to do, let's check if other dot hp you remember the hp variable back then is not uh, is less than zero then we're going to deduct 0 0.3 it's just a number that i uh, came up with yeah you don't need to follow 0 0.3 you can go with one or two or any number you want and then we're also going to have an if statement again with the other that HP is equal to zero. Oh, no, is no. I think I messed up. Yeah. So we, what we need to do is if <laughs> I'm sorry for the noise. So what we need to do is if the other that HP is greater than zero. Yeah. If it's still greater than zero, then we can minus because we don't want the HP to be deducted even though we are reached zero. So if the health is zero, then it will not minus anymore. So let's just check here if our HP is less than zero, then we change it to zero because um sometimes the HP can get below zero. Uh, yeah, below zero, even though we made this because we're incrementing no we're decrementing with 0 0.3 so it's just a what it's just something so that we can be assured that the hp will stay at zero 
so yeah that's it for the enemy event i'm sorry i we need to make this right for the enemy yeah the like that and then one last thing is to create the help bar so yeah and what you do is add a draw gui event and then create this code action so what we need to do here is draw the help bar so let's just draw the help bar first because that's what needs to be on the back so we're going to sprite draw exact wait ah, i'm <laughs> i'm at draw sprite ext so that stands for exact so the sprite will be spr help bar the sub image will be one uh, no zero because we need just the first frame and the x will be 32 also 32 i think we don't need to make it exact yeah we just need to do it like that so now we draw the health so so health overlay and then draw sprite now we do exact because we need to scale this sprite to our current health so it's spr health overlay then also the sub image will be zero then also 32 then 32 then the x scale Then the X scale will be um, the HP. No, uh, <laughs> the object player HP because we need to get the HP of the player over the object player max HP. So it it um, checks what the HP and the max HP is. So if your HP is full or equal to the max health then the the scale of your sprite will be one and if it's below then it will be scaled lower so you will see what i mean in a second so let's just finish this with image angle image blend then one so yeah that's it that's all that we had to do with the, uh, the objects so let's create the room and let's just make this 100 by 100 no let's just make it 50 by 50 we don't need it to make so big and the background will be black and then let's just place the objects there I think we needed to make it a lot bigger so maybe 64 by 64 yeah something like that then the enemy yeah let's just change this back to 100 for the width just stay just make the um, um height stay the same as 64 then let's drag in the health bar here we don't need to put it anywhere really because uh, no we have to put it inside the room but we don't need to put it exactly where we want it to be because we already placed it in the coordinates for the draw sprite so yeah let's just run the game and if you see errors then uh, wait it's a bit bit small <laughs> let's just change our okay let's change this to 8 yeah let's change this to 8 okay then also the the view to 
No, I mean the port. Let's set this. Yeah, let's make this. Uh, I think we got to make it larger so that you can see it. So just follow what I do. Or I think you got a proper room for your game. So I'm just going to do it like this. Yeah, just create 640 by 360. And then something like this. Yep. And then what we need to do uh, let's just see what go on there. but i think we need to scale the ui yeah as you can see the ui is so small right here so let's scale that up so we need to change it so let's make it draw sprite ext so that we can scale this sprite so let's scale it to five times then image angle just the same thing color this image blend then one then here we need to set this and multiply this to five just so that you can see it you can scale this any any how you want it and then this will be five Mm -hmm, I think we're done. Yeah, let's put this back to 32 by 30. So, because we scaled our view. Okay, I'm sorry for the inconvenience for that. Yeah, so now we can see the health, health bar for the player. So, if we collide with this thing, oops, we got an error. <laughs> Oh, okay. So I think I forgot something. So let's. I forgot to make this other that HP. Other. So I. If you don't know what other means, it just points to the thing that's colliding with it. So in this case, we're colliding with the player. So it's just going to get the ID of the player. So it gets the player dot HP. So it gets a HP of the player. So yeah, that's what other means. So let's play this again. Oh, so many errors again, man. I don't really script this thing, so I'm sorry for the errors. So yeah, let's just move into the enemy. And there you can see the health when I collide with the enemy. It shrinks to zero. No, it's not shrinks to zero, but it shrinks. Yep. And then got no health. So yeah, that's it. I hope you liked this video and I hope you learned something from it. So like and subscribe if you liked it. Subscribe if you want more videos and comment down below for questions that you want to ask or if you got errors. And also the download link for this is in the de description. And I'll also put links on the screen for other videos. So yeah, bye guys.